Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. Welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times, and it's Shark Week, or sort of anyway. The madness continues in Chatham. Even though it's been a little while since sharks have been sighted, people are still buzzing. Lighthouse Beach in Chatham, of course, is the center of this shark fandango. The folks just keep coming. You park your car after a little bit of a hassle, you get out and think, hmm, should I spend a quarter on one of those viewing machine contraptions or bring out those old binoculars I've had in my trunk since 1992? Jim, sharks, what are you feeling? Well, we'd really like to see some, but I think we'd be pretty spooked if we did. I'm thinking about Jaws. I'm thinking about those poor seals out there. But it would be an exciting story. I just, I'm not sure if we'd be able to tell if we really saw one versus seeing a seal versus the dark water. But it's a pretty cool thing. Now, if someone offered you like $500 to take a good-sized swim, would you do it? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I'm not even sure I'd go in a boat. Jim, what is it all about the whole shark phenomenon thing that gets people going and traveling to a beach far away? It's the ferocity and the power and the speed. Everybody looks to see Shark Week on TV. That's just like the ultimate predator. Be a cool thing to see, even from a distance. We're living Shark Week right now. This is Shark Week. That's oh, man. Right. Watch out, dude. <laughs> Labor Day is Shark Week all right, here thanks. on the Cape. Whoa! Oh, no, there's one seal marinating another in chum. I think it's a practical joke. Uh, two seals doing TV interviews. We're not delicious, someone is mouthing to me. That's a pup. Fantastic. What a view. Well, the shark madness rolls on here in Chatham, folks. Some people are getting creative about the whole thing. What's that up in the sky? It's a plane? It's a message? Dangerous predator in water. You, go veg. Do they mean veg out and watch some NFL action? Because that's starting this weekend. More sharks may be bad news for seals, but it's good news for some local businesses. Just ask Nick. What kind of uh, sort of shark-infused uh, bump in business is this? I mean, I would say we have probably a couple hundred people just walking in. Not everyone's buying some, but at least a couple extra hundred because of, you know, cause we're, we're located on the pier. People are coming here to look at the sharks and they wander and see what's going on. And some of them buy something, so it's good for us. As a fishmonger, you know fish. Uh, do you have much experience serving shark or different types of shark to people? The only shark we really serve at fish markets would be mako. Um, you know, most shark, like great white, is, is what I've heard of never eaten. It's too tough. You know, that's why they only really eat the fins, say in Japan or China. Hey, my name is Laura. I work at Chatham D'Angelo's. Lisa had the idea of putting the gummy bear sharks up. Well, I call them gummy bears because they're gummy, but they're sharks because we have great white sharks in Chatham now. And everybody's all freaking out, and they're all coming in talking about the sharks. They love it. They laugh. They think it's funny. You know, we're right on top of, you know, just having fun with the town. But I heard somebody went through town on Main Street with the Jaws theme, playing really, really loud. But Lisa thought it would be funny if we put that out there and just say, you know, Chatham's got sharks, and we're loving it. It brings more people to Chatham. Hey, guess.